June 9th, 2017, and welcome to another video. I decided to take a ride around the local area, just a two-hour trip in a circle, just to pass through some of the small communities. I've just uh, left uh, Hoods um, near where I live. So Watson's Corners is the first uh, small community we come into. Um, the first residents from this whole area were mostly Scottish and in 1821 they came from Scotland by boat, uh, walked and etc. from uh, Brockville where they landed, uh, coming through Perth and Lanark. Uh, this area was, this town was named for William Watson who was the first innkeeper and postmaster of the area and uh, this town actually is also known for uh, have the site of the oldest rural library in Ontario okay in the distance we're coming up to uh, Fiddler's Hill now uh, there's a story about Fiddler's Hill and how it got its name uh, when the Scottish settlers did come into this area um, after Lanark there was only a small trail and, and bush um, to come through uh, to make the journey into this uh, Dalhousie area and uh, they arrived at the top of this hill uh, late and they camped for uh, to rest and they kept fires going apparently to keep the uh, the wolves at bay I'm not sure how true that is but uh, anyway that was the story and uh, there was one uh, fiddler amongst the uh, the settlers, Alexander Watt, and he was playing the old Scottish tunes, folk melodies, on his fiddle, and others joined in apparently, uh, and it uh, raised the spirits of uh, all the travelers who were getting quite down at this time. Anyway, here we are uh, going into Fallbrook now, and uh, we cross the um, Bolton Creek, and that's significant because uh, the first uh, guy, William Bolton, uh, moved here and built a sawmill on the creek. Uh, in fact, it was originally known as Bolton Mills, and uh, again, there were uh, shingle, saw, grist, carding, and woolen mills. Um, this town also also has a um, a famous uh, blacksmith, uh, Jazz Cameron, uh, the blacksmith of Fallbrook. He was a wood carver, and th those buildings on the right, right there, are where his uh, blacksmith shop used to be. Now I'm stopping here because I've just passed uh, an area where you can see out onto Upper Mud Lake and I noticed that there were two swans on the lake um, and I just wanted to walk down and uh, see if I could see them closer. The only problem is uh, I only had the uh, GoPro camera with me which uh, is wide angle and not able to get uh, very close to wildlife especially when it's far away. Now walking up here was a little more difficult than usual. They had uh, cut many of the small trees along the side of the ditch and just left them lying. Uh, we actually have in the past put our kayaks in here and it was way easier to walk then and uh, you can also see the water although we've had a very wet spring um, has has gone down quite a lot and I've never seen it this low actually so they must have let the water out through a dam or something and uh, there was a lot of mud here which uh, kind of kind of thwarted my attempts at uh, getting 
further out. This is uh, private land and fenced off uh, to the right, uh, to the left of me, so um, I uh, didn't go up into the woods. But I, uh, I do uh, go along here a little bit more and uh, try to get a better view of the swans. This is about as far as I can walk without sinking into the mud, which I didn't want to do. Uh, here we are entering uh, the area around Glen Tay and this again was a settlement back in the 1800s, early 1800s and um, the land, the farming uh, land around here was a lot better than they had back up in Lanark Islands um, so it was an obvious place to uh, build up a, a town there was the Tay River uh, going through the area, so they again started uh, sawmills and uh, different kinds of mills. They also opened up uh, a mica uh, mine along the uh, Tay River. So it was quite a community. I decided to take this route because I had never been on this road before. We usually go straight through uh, Glen Tay uh, when we were going to uh, Westport, which is also another nice area, worthy of a scooter trip one day. I uh, noticed that the uh, the gauge was down, so I stopped to fill her up. And the, the it is really good on gas, but if you you know if you're traveling in the back roads, uh, a lot of times you'll go for quite a ways without seeing a uh, gas station. So it's it's always a good idea to carry some gas, and uh, the small five liter uh, can fits in my uh, top box uh, pretty good. And because I'm not carrying any other gear, like uh, camping equipment or whatever, um, I, c I carry it in there. It's also nice to stop and have a drink of water, rest your uh, rest your bones for a few minutes, and uh, just breathe. Uh, the whole idea of these uh, these trips is uh, to enjoy them. All these small roads are a pleasure to drive. There, there aren't too many other cars or trucks on the roads. And uh, they're nice, small, twisty roads and lots of old farms and buildings to look at. And just the countryside itself. If I had gone straight there, I would have gone down to Charbot Lake, uh, which again is a nice, uh, nice community to explore one day. In fact, there are so many roads back here and so many places to explore. I may never, never ever see that, see all the back roads. But it's all about the journey. And here we are coming into the town of Neighborly. Apparently they have a uh, long-running uh, fair here, the Neighborly Fair, 
I'll have to come down to that sometime. And we're crossing the uh, Trans-Canada Highway right now. Route 7 comes from uh, Carlton Place, Perth, all the way down to uh, Peterborough. And uh, a lot of people take that route to Toronto. Anyway, Maberly uh, used to be originally called Morrow's Mills, um, but uh, it was it was renamed to uh, Maberly by uh, for uh, Lieutenant Colonel William Leader Maberly. Anyway, uh, we're going up toward uh, Elfin and McDonald's Corners now. This is a nice road. I've driven it many times in a car, uh, but this is the first time in my, on my bike, and uh, it's quite nice. Nice and smooth, and uh, some nice twisties here and there. Not too much traffic, but there you, you always keep an eye out for uh, wildlife whether it be deer or, or uh, even squirrels uh, with these small wheels even a squirrel would put you off or a turtle or even a bird crossing so you always are aware of your surroundings this is Elfin small town of Elfin it's quite a community of uh, artisans uh, that live through this area now. Uh, I couldn't really find too much on the on the web about uh, the history of the town itself, but uh, obviously a farming community and probably forestry, um, as a lot of this area was. Now we're coming into McDonald's Corners. Now this was a uh, a large, and it still is uh, one of the larger communities up here. Uh, apparently, um, locals just call it the hill. Uh, back when the uh, the Scottish settlers uh, first came through here in 1821, there were three uh, three different uh, Macdonald families. Um, hence the name of the town, and um, it became an important place for uh, travelers to stop and uh, uh, supplies to be had for uh, people in this whole area. There were uh, two general stores up until uh, not too long ago. Um, schools, uh, you name it, it was here. So it was quite an important, important center for this whole area. And here we're coming down toward uh, on your left you'll see Dalhousie Lake and uh, on their right uh, the Mississippi River uh, carries on into uh, all the way down to the Ottawa River actually and I decided to stop here and have a look see what the water level was we've, we've put in our kayaks here many times and it's just a nice uh, little spot to uh, stop anyway I spend a few minutes uh, around here and uh, come across a, a snake or two Now I do believe these are northern water snakes. This fella did seem too scared of me, but uh, it was hard to get close to him with the GoPro again with wide angle. But uh, it was so nice to see this guy. And there's always an opportunity to take a picture of my 
scooter which uh, again is a Kimco like 200i 2013 I bought it last year uh, with only uh, 170 kilometers on it and uh, now it's I think it just hit the uh, 8,000 kilometer mark but I've enjoyed every second of riding it Dear Turtle Would you come out to play? Dear Turtle It's a brand new day Well, here we are back at home again and as always, I hope you enjoyed this uh, sharing this trip with me. Um, please subscribe and comment. Um, I love comments and I will try to respond to every comment I get. Dear Turtle, dear turtle, dear turtle. Dear turtle.